This video is for the, to show our modification to our uh, rabbit cage rack that we uh, showed you how to build. Now what we've done is we've taken a piece of a strip of board here that's eight foot six inches long. Uh, one on the top and one on the bottom there. And uh, basically what we, we do disconnected it from the rack that holds the cages or the frame that holds the cages and moved it down about five inches. And also at the same time, we the old version goes underneath the board that we put in, and this one goes on top. Uh, so you see there where it's pulling because uh, because of the weight. A lot of flaws in this old one because what we found was uh, we couldn't see underneath the cages, and what was getting uh, caught in the cages uh, again, and we couldn't see what was on top of uh, the catch. So now we can see what's on top of the catch and we can also push a rake in here and, and clean it out. If you look on some of the older ones there, I don't know what you can see in there. It's, it's pretty deep and I can't reach it <laughs> with anything right now. So uh, I got to modify that rack so I can clean that one out. But uh, yeah, this, this design looks like it'll work a whole lot better. And hopefully this uh, little video here, this quick little video, uh, it's helpful for you too. Unfortunately, the bad part is you have to buy a 10 foot 2x4 and rip it down. I ripped it down to an inch and an eighth. Um, you could go thicker, but uh, then you need longer screws. Either way, um, yeah, you have to get a 10 foot board and cut it down to 8 foot 6 inches to make it fit the rack. And, uh, and we got this one all cleaned out, ready for a, a brand new cage.